I'd like to welcome everybody to the annual WHSFL Awards Banquet. It'll be a lot smaller than where we're used to, but quite honestly, a return to our history and our roots because the first few award banquets were held at Annabeth Center. So I thank the Annabeth Center for stepping up this year and making it available for us so that we can honor our, our recipients. And trust me, it's very important that we do honor our award winners. I'd like to start by asking Sheldon Klopp, the president of the Annabets, to come up and say the act of remembrance, please. First, I'd like to uh, ask everybody to please rise and we'll have a moment of silence for our fallen comrades. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Thank you. Please be seated. If I could have Duncan Anderson, please, to say the blessings. Please remain seated for the blessing. I'll say it again, was all my muffler on? Please remain seated for the blessing. Thanks very much. Just bow your heads. For the meal we are about to eat, and for those that made it possible, and those with whom we are about to share it, we are thankful. Amen. Before we, go, before we go up and get our food, uh, I'd like to introduce some people here. Um, again, Sheldon Club is the president of the Provincial Command for Annabits. Sheldon, if you can please stand. Duncan Anderson is the first, is the first vice president. Duncan, again, if you can please stand. A young lady who, for the last few years, has been absolutely instrumental in, in helping us in so many different ways. Rosie Tower is a sports officer. We have Linda O'Brien, the secretary. Ron Smith, who's the past president of the Dominion Command. From Unit 1, John Osborne, we have Jock jo Amos. From Unit 253, we have Len Cook, the President. 283, I'm sorry, Mike. And Rosie, I think that says Unit 302? 303. 303? Well, we got to work on your handwriting. <laughs> From Unit 303, we have, we have Guy Now, who's a sports officer. Deb Ponsick, who's the first vice president, and Marge Miller, who's the second vice. Also joining us today from Football Manitoba, the executive director, Bill Johnson. From the Bomber alumni, Mr. Glenn Scribner. And I don't see Aaron here from the Winnipeg School Division. I guess he did not make it. Is he here? Aaron? <laughs> All right. At this time, I also get the opportunity to introduce the new commissioner of the Winnipeg High School Football League, David Lowe. I hope everybody enjoyed their meals. We're going to get started now. I'd like to hear a round of applause for the Romana's Kitchen because that was an amazing meal. I'm pretty sure a lot of us need a nap after that. Uh, to start off, though, I am going to ask uh, Mr. Sheldon Club just to come up quickly 
to say a few words about the Anavit WHSL partnership, and then we'll get into the, uh, the meat and potatoes of our, of our afternoon. Thanks. Thanks for bringing this on me. I had nothing prepared, but uh, first of all, congratulations to all the players on on your successes. And like Rick said, the partnership that we've had this has been on 20 plus years. And uh, on behalf of Anavet, uh, we thank you and uh, congratulations again. Perfect. Anything else? Nope. That's <laughs> Thank you, Sheldon. So, this year was uh, obviously an anomaly in how we had to do a lot of things. Normally, the coaches get together and they select all the different award winners per division and everything else. Because of what we went through this year, that couldn't happen. And the Harry Hood Committee kind of met and uh, did, did all the selections between uh, everybody on that committee. They'd seen a lot of games in all different divisions, and we think we did a pretty good job in, um, in selecting everything. But one of the awards that we did not hand out at, at a proper time was the MVP for the Anavitz Bowl. So we're going to redo that. Rosie, if you would please pop up here. No, yeah. Sheldon. Sheldon? Okay, Sheldon. No, but you're the sports officer. Um, you get up there. Make her say some more. No, We're all in trouble. Coach McKay, if you'd also come up, please. Tom Monroe Award. Tom Monroe Award. Yeah, right. Yeah, so Coach McKay's going to help you with that. I know. He, where did he put it? Oh, there, here, here. This sort of reminds me of the Annabet Bowl night all over again. I had the best time of my life. What a great turnout there. Um, all the spectators and such, it was cold. I froze out there, but that's okay. I would like to present, where is, who is the... Who is it that's coming in? Sorry. He already knows. Yeah. He knows who he is. And I was getting a bit tongue tied there, and I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time pronouncing your name. Siju, right? Okay, it is my honor to present you with the Tom Monroe Most Valued Player Award of the Year of the game, actually. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, just... Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you, Rosie. It's all good. You did great. You did great. And you. I know. I'm in trouble. He's in trouble. He doesn't know it quite yet, but thank you, Rick. Thank you, Rosie. Uh, if I can get Glenn Scribner up, please. Glenn is the representative for the Bomber alumni, and the Bomber alumni this year have graciously given us three scholarship awards, and um, we think that the uh, selections pretty much reflected everything that went on in our league this year. So I'll leave it up to Glenn to call up and... Uh, oh, okay, now i got to go get my glasses. Unless I'll you give read. you the names. You, you, is that? Yeah. Okay. I read read. Okay, am I reading all three? Yeah. Okay. Right there, just those three. All right, thank you. Uh, the three award winners this, do we need to wear this up here for the picture? Okay, I can't speak through it too well. So the three uh, award winners this year are uh, Everett Reed from Massey, Ryan Bruno from Garden City, and Daniel Wilson from Murdoch. So on behalf of the alumni, we will uh, be forwarding you, I guess, to whichever institution you choose. A uh, $1,000 scholarship goes along with this uh, award uh, today. 
So keep in mind, uh, I guess most of you will probably be going to U Sports or NCAA and NEIA because you're playing football, but um, this award also um, is not specific to just that. If you guys decide you want to go to a trade school and continue to play football, et cetera, um, it goes towards that as well. So just keep that in mind. Um, you, would you like to come up individually one at a time for yep. pitcher? Okay. Yep. So we'll start, we'll start with the speedster with uh, Everett. I guess we're just doing a picture, man. Yeah. You want to just have him hold that for the picture? Yeah. Okay. Actually, this. We'll just hold it for the picture. No, nobody's going to be able to see it. Anyways, you want to hold it together? Congratulations. Okay. All right. Next one is uh, yep. Bruno. Uh, Ryan Bruno. I don't think I need this. <laughs> so I didn't specifically get to see you play, but the gentlemen that sat at the table were very impressed with you. Thank you. Uh, I'll take my mask off the picture. Yeah, I think we probably should. Because we're going to be wearing them for quite a few months yeah. moving forward, I think. All right, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. And, 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 and All right, and Dan Wilson. Yep. So uh, I got a question. You guys look like bookends here. So <laughs> o, o tackles, D tackles, one both. Of one of each. Yeah. One of each. Nice. I can imagine the drywall holes in your basement. <laughs> All right, which which one of you gentlemen both would like to come? Up. Both come up. All right, there you go. Here, I'll be the ugly guy in between the two of you. Come on over here. Okay, we'll, we'll hold this. So this is an, on behalf of your, uh, your your team. The running backs that they block for all your Yeah, team. there you go. Well, it's about time the big guys get some love right next. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So our Outstanding Lineman Award, we had quite a few uh, nominations on that and we really kind of had to work hard to figure out who that winner was. But as we went through it, it became pretty clear cut who deserved it. Coach Kovacs, Nathaniel Lisak, er, er, Nathaniel Lisak, come up please. Congratulations to Nathaniel Lysak. Uh, his hard work and dedication has proven that um, you know you can achieve all your goals in life. Um, he has been a model citizen for the school. He carries a 95 average at the uh, at Grand Park High School, and he is a team leader and a team captain. And uh, this is a reflection of his hard work over the last four years. So, congratulations on this award.
So this year, the Bob Whitlaw Rookie of the Year Award, we had to really work on, on, the, on the qualifications because normally, according to our handbook, it goes to a grade 9 or grade 10 student. But we didn't have football last season. So we kind of said, okay, who's the Rookie of the Year, period. And this was pretty much a unanimous choice. The, the young man in question here just did amazing things on the field, uh, really for his first year of organized ball that way. And I call upon um, famous Aguirre. Aguirre and his coach, John Keesman, to come up, please. The next award is the Jim Fobister Award, which is for sportsmanship. Normally, the MFOA people, Manpo Football Officials Association, they're the ones that hand it out. But again, given the scenario where we couldn't do the things that we normally do, the Harry Hood Committee kind of went through it all, and we read the write-ups that were submitted. And kind of interesting to see how many people really didn't take a penalty in a, in a game like football. So <laughs> I was kind of amazed. But this young man, actually, I, I had an opportunity to see him in other areas as well, and I have no doubt that uh, he is a Sportsmanship of the Year winner. Josh Bannon from VMC Trilogy. Kelsey, would you and Josh come up, please? <laughs> You're good this time. The John Potter Darcy Bain Award. Again, we went through a lot of write-ups to, to come up with the winner of this, and uh, I'm really pleased to ask Sharif McCurdy and Stacey Damon from St. Paul's to come on up. So we had to, uh, of course, always come up with an MVP of offense and MVP of defense. And again, uh, where we would normally have done this for each division, unfortunately this year we could not. So this is sort of just league-wide this year. And I would ask that um, Ben Orajuki and Everett Reed and Coach McKay from Vincent Massey come up, please.
Yeah, I know he does. Yeah. All right, uh, congratulations Everett for Offensive Player of the Year and uh, Ben Ojeko who couldn't be here today on the Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, both outstanding young gentlemen, love the game of football, very passionate, have done all the right things to, to lead our team this year to uh, an Adamant Bowl Championship. So congratulations Everett and, and Ben. All right, good job guys. Coach. <laughs> See, told you. <laughs> the Arnie Taylor Award goes to the Volunteer of the Year, who unfortunately this year could not attend. But his name is Jack McMaster. Jack is the principal at Dryden High School, who's also an official, who also refuses to take any pay for officiating games, donates that pay plus other funds back to the Dryden football program, has been a proud supporter of the Dryden football program for many years. So unfortunately, we cannot present this to, to Jack, but we will be sending it out to him, and he has our congratulations on that. We have now the Rick Simon Memorial Award, which goes to the assistant coach of the year. Rick Simon was a longtime assistant coach and teacher at Elmwood High School and a gentleman who just bled for his kids. He was an amazing man if you got to know him and he passed away way too suddenly, way too soon. So the league recognized Rick's contributions as an assistant coach and created the Assistant Coach of the Year program. This year it is my honor to present it to Colin Mosco from Sisler High School. Dave, Sean. I still think that's it. The wife made you wear that, didn't she? No, this is my creation. Well, that explains a lot. Masked out. The Frank Bryan Award is to the coach of the year. Coach Bryan was, uh, an assist, uh, was a head coach at Sisler High School for 11 years, and in 10 of those 11 years, his teams made the finals. He set a standard and a very high bar for people to follow. And if you're lucky enough to play from you, you'd understand that. But finding that coach of the year, that worthy recipient, is always an interesting challenge in our league because we have coaches that I personally would match up to any league in this country. I think that our coaches are, are the best, period. So to win this award shows that you're really one of the best of the best. And it's my honor to present this to John Kiesman from Elmwood. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't call me Uncle Rick now. Can you make a second? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to do this on here. It's on. I'm uh, pretty humbled to be up here. I stole a surprise. just want to take a quick minute and thank all the coaches, all the players, all the parents that made this year possible. Right? It was great to have our game back. Our kids need it. So thank you very much for stepping up, whether it was on the field playing or coaching or the time that you put in. Football's the best game in the world, right? Because it's about family, it's about community. And in a time like this, this is when we need football the most. So thank you everybody in this room for your commitment to our game, okay?
So our final award this year is the Harry Hood Award. And this is one of the most prestigious awards that football has to offer, high school football has to offer in our country. Calgary also has the Harry Hood Award. And Harry Hood is, is a Winnipeg-born young man who played in our league, um, went on to play professionally in the CFL for both Winnipeg and, and Calgary, but donated his time back to the game of football. Harry unfortunately passed away at a very early age, but he left such an impact, such an impact on football in Winnipeg and in Calgary that he has this award named after him in two separate cities. This award encompasses not being the best football player, but being a leader. It encompasses being somebody involved in, in your community, so your citizenship, your scholastic ability, and your football ability. But the football ability isn't just the number one priority here. So this award every year gathers a lot of nominations. And the write-ups have to come in and we have to go through absolutely everything. And when we find that, that, that one person, that worthy recipient, we are really pleased because it is a tough job. So I'm going to call on Jackson Sterk and Coach Mitchell Harrison from Dakota to come up, please. Coach Harrison is going to tell you a little bit about this amazing young man. Hello, everybody. Um, so today I have the pleasure of uh, congratulating Jackson Stark as this year's recipient of the Harry Hood Award. Uh, Jackson is definitely a jack of all trades. Since the beginning of the pandemic, Jackson has been captaining, uh, captaining our team while also holding leadership positions in LRSD's Youth Summit Committee, River Wild Day Camp, Red Rock Bible Camp, and Riverwood Kids, just to name <laughs> a few of the, the many uh, volunteer uh, opportunities he's taken advantage of. Um, somehow he even found time to build a canoe uh, as part of LRSD's interdisciplinary project-based propel program. He accomplished all of this while maintaining a 95 plus uh, grade point average. Over the course of the past three years, I am honored to say I've had the great privilege of watching uh, Jackson um, grow into not only a high performance athlete but also a respectful and confident person. Jackson has exhibited everything you can ask for from a student athlete and has been, honor, or been an honor to be a small part of his growth. Jackson's character revolves around four core values that will continue to serve him well into the future. Uh, first off, he is a lifelong learner. Uh, Jackson's thirst for knowledge is unlimited. He asked so many questions during his grade tenure that it became a running joke within the uh, coaching staff. His inquis inquisitive nature often benefits others around him, including his teammates. Uh, secondly, he is a pas or he's uh, passionate about the things he loves. Uh, Jackson plays and practices the game with a great deal of passion. Uh, this drives him to be the best he can be in every facet of his life and in his diversity of interests. Uh, thirdly, he has a sense of purpose. Jackson's work ethic and determination on the field is only matched by the effort he puts forth into his studies. Uh, Jackson is a goal oriented, uh, is goal oriented and has a clear understanding that the value and benefit of his education and his desire to play at the highest level are congruent. He continues to uh, manage his time effectively between his academic, athletic and personal endeavors. He has dedicated himself uh, to the services others uh, to the services to the service of others as well. Uh, Jackson conducts himself on the field of play with, uh, with class and the willingness to support his teammates. He is the standard bearer of teamwork and is always motivating others to do their best. Uh, each of these attributes of learning, passion, purpose, and service to others, uh, along with his athletic accomplishments, contributed to Jackson's nomination for the Harry Hood Award this year. When viewed as a whole, Jackson exemplifies not only the qualities of a Lancer for life, uh, but also, he most clearly demonstrates the standards and characteristics established by past Harry Hood winners. Uh, Jackson, thank you and congratulations, and uh, thank you to your family as well.
for Jackson, Everett Reed, and uh, and Ben, we do have rings coming to you from um, from Heavy Metal Design. So I will put you in touch with the right people. I will email your coaches the information so that you guys can uh, contact Corey over there and get your rings sized and made. This kind of concludes everything. I, uh, I had to promise everybody that I would keep this really short. Kind of goes back to my first year as commissioner where the banquet would used to be like four and a half, five hours, and they made me push it to stay under three. And we did it. I'm not sure how, but we did it. And then we actually beat that record. Uh, but today was, uh, was probably the best that I've done. Really happy to see everybody here. I congratulate each and every one of you of the award winners. All year long, I've been saying to everybody that our coming back has been an exceptional feat and that you guys are contributing to a new foundation of our league. And that foundation will only be strong because of the exemplary performances from you guys. And on that note, I will say thank you. So I just want to thank Rick for his leadership and his dedication to this league. Um, Jeff Bannon had been our commissioner and he was somebody that uh, Rick had even um, kind of picked out and, and put in place and he was doing a great job of leadership and uh, he ended up um, at the last minute getting a job in Edmonton working for the Oilers. So the season was about to, to hopefully start and we were without a commissioner and Rick um, just felt this need uh, because of the love that he has for the league to step up uh, into that void and take on probably what was uh, one of the most challenging seasons to date. Um, you know, luckily the weather uh, was good for us and held out and we were able to make it work and I know there were multiple drafts so of, of playoff schedules and uh, Rick was ready to be done but he kept going. So thank you so much for your time and dedication and here's a little something to wipe away the memories that you can use, a gift card to the LLC. So, well that will um, come in handy. Yeah. So have a good holiday and thank you so much. Thank you very much. That's it, everybody. Thank you so much.